one of those rings for a second? Anyway, that's perfect. I'm going to place my hand over the ring, just like this, but I'm going to keep my hand on at all times, and you're going to place your hand right on top of my hand. Don't let go. Place it up. Touch my hand. I want to keep it in full view. Place your hand on top. I'm going to roll up my sleeve so that you can see that everything is completely fair, would you say? Yes. Everything's been fair? Yes. The ring's under my hand. Yes. My hand's on the ring. Your hands are on my hand, so it's impossible for me to get to that ring, correct? Right. Watch. You feel me doing that? You feel me doing that? Uh -huh. Watch. Remove your hand. Remove your hand. Watch. Okay, where did it go? Where did my ring go? Where did it go? Look. Did you just see that? This is the most bizarre thing. I'm just look. My hand and my sleeves are rolled up. Everything. Look. Look, look at this. Look what's inside. I just. It was a strange. I felt. I saw the water shake. And that's why I was looking at ice cubes. Oh, my God. Look at <laughs> there it is. Look. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look. Look. Is that, is that your ring? <laughs> completely sealed. Now, pick up the ice cube. Check it out. There's no holes. It's completely solid right now, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> Where did it get in there? Illusions, mentalism, hypnosis are just tools to be able to connect with the audience. Yeah. Is this your ring? <laughs> yes! Oh my God. How did you... Oh God, it's cold. <laughs> How did you... I know, it's magic, right? Hey Lance, how are you? I'm in an RV with a bunch of uh, magicians and we're going to burn one. <laughs> go out we're gonna do a little uh, test burn get ready for tonight okay see how you feel about it see how you deal with it and then hop on that hair before we hit you with the cold stuff what do you see in your mind's eye how'd you like this, this to go I want to burn longer I want to burn with less protection without a mask or gloves like they use in movies I have concerns about that because we start minimizing your safety layer and you want to burn longer right then it, you're looking at it an impossibility. I want to be able to do something that I can honestly say that I've done that no one else has ever done. Okay, here we go. Take a deep breath. breath. This is uh, Nomax uh, underwear that's soaked in a fire gel. It's wet and it's been kept on ice so it's cold. Yeah. I go. know, first one's the worst. There you go. Not only do I have to contend with the danger involved and the blocking involved and the potential of really severely burning myself, but on top of that, I have to keep my cool and try to execute an illusion while surrounded by hundreds upon hundreds of people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start you over here in this corner right here. We'll push it, but it's up to you to tell me when it's starting to go too far. Right? We'll see how it goes and then we'll discuss it and figure out. Plus, it's my mom's birthday. I told, told I was going to be a human candle, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, well, I mean, it's, it's kind of going past my comfort zone, really. I mean, I... Oh, right. Don't worry, don't worry, don't <laughs> worry. Fire burns are kind of something that you try to manipulate, and since it's been a while, Chris is going to go out and he's going to do an arm burn and try to re-experience what being that on fire is all about. 50 steps. 50 steps, okay. That's pretty long, and in, in movie stunts, you wouldn't... You'd probably never go that far. Never. Chris only has a limited amount of time once he's on fire. He needs to pay attention to all the signals uh, that he's feeling as the heat's starting to come in, and these are all things that kind of take a lot of experience. You'll hear me say you're lit, okay? Keep pulling back. Ready? Right. Protect your hand, protect your face. You're lit! Unlike a stuntman, I have absolutely no face protection, no hand protection, and less body protection than any stuntman would use. Fine, fine. I told you it was going to be hot.
basically, not only does he want to do it between 40 and 45 seconds, but he's got an illusion at the end of this thing. And the twist that he has going, uh, none of us know. I don't even know what's going on. These things that he's doing, it's just, just driving me nuts. I just can't wait for it to be over. Enter my mind. Coming up. You're lit! You're lit! Chris burns out of control. Are you ready? My mama. Yes. My family is really the reason why I'm sitting right here right now. I've been very fortunate to have a family who really allowed me to to try to live this crazy vision that I had as a child. I'd like to say I know on behalf of myself and this wonderful family that I call mine, um, we all love you immensely. Uh, we wish you... Make it you, short because I'm going to stop. <laughs> to have parents like you is just beyond words. We've been really blessed and we are just so grateful that we can call you mom. And obviously dad's not here, but Dad is here, and uh, Dad's wishing you a happy 70th birthday. And we want you to have a great night that you'll remember forever. Happy birthday, Mom. Thank you I very you. much. Beautiful. I love you all very much. My father, who had passed away, really um, enlightened me because I was very squeamish. And I uh, spent three years with my father when they gave him three weeks to live. And I saw a man who was so strong, such an inspiration for others. And because of him is why I do these demonstrations. Ready? Yeah, rock and roll. It's going to be great. This is perfect lighting. Where are we going over here? I never expected this now. And I appreciate it. That's it. I'm so proud of my boys. You guys are so good to me. It's so good to me to take care of me and look after me. Okay, go eat, go eat. As you know, I turned 70, and my son Christopher had a real surprise for me here in Vegas. So I didn't know what the surprise was. How, how much is that? Five, about 25 seconds. 25? I want to do like 45. No, I'll just take longer with it. For mom on her very special birthday, I'm going to do something. I'm going to be like a, like a candle for your birthday. It's going to be... Uh, oh, Christopher. You're gonna, it's, I'm doing this... For my birthday? For mom. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> right. You need to, you just go down. Right, okay. And you'll be out like that. We'll have right. bottles on you, so... But remember, the heat still comes in right. even after you're out. Right, right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, wish you luck, brother. Take care, man. Thank you very much. I don't believe there's anything in life that you should fear. I think you have to confront your fears. I think when you confront your fears, uh, you grow as a person. Right. Give me a thumbs up. As soon as you give me that thumbs up, I'm lighting. Okay. With 1,500 degree burns of that magnitude, you'd be in the hospital. It would be a critical patient. I'm not fearful of dying. Really, I'm more concerned about my family because I know what they go through every time I do one of these things. Oh, God. I can't watch this. I can't sit down. I just want to be all done. If I go to him and I'll say, please don't do it, he's going to say, Mom, I promise you, I'll be okay. But no matter what he tells me, it, it scares me, yes. This is the worst part. You keep your face clean, get your arm. <laughs> I know. Okay, big talk, guys, big talk. Very, very difficult as a, as a brother, as my other brother, as a mom, and uh, family members watching him do these things um, because they're so life-threatening. And the Lord, please, Jesus, put your hand upon my brother, make him out safely with no problems, put your hand upon him, and everybody comes out well, absolutely no harm. Amen. Amen. What I try to do when I confront these different things is to remain focused and calm. If I lose my cool, then I could really seriously get hurt. I should go back. I pray. can watch me do it and experience it through me because I obviously wouldn't want anybody to try this at home.